Water washable resin has a reputation for being quite brittle and not really ideal for something that you're going to be getting a lot of use out of, such as miniatures for tabletop gaming or anything functional. But what if I told you that there was a resin out there that you'll be able to use that just may give you the toughness that you're looking for and let you avoid the harsh smells of IPA? Well, that's what I'm going to be testing today. This is Nova 3D's washable mecha resin. You can pick this up from their website for about $36 and the color that they sent me is night gray. And they say that this is non-brittle and it's also got some ABS-like properties, so we'll find that out for ourselves. I'm gonna be testing this out just like some other ABS-like tough resin that I've used on this channel in the past. I'm gonna be trying out some drop tests with some miniatures, see how they hold up as far as bending those thinner pieces go. And then overall, to let you know what the quality has been and what the experience with printing this resin has been like once it's all said and done. So I'm going to clean out my printer, put this in, and let's take a look at some of those results. So now I want to show you some things that I printed with this resin, and then I'm going to do some drop tests. So the first thing here that I think I should definitely have to point out is this, this is one of the first miniatures that I printed here. Now this is pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a horse with wings with a warrior with the shield on it. I forgot the exact name. This was made from cast and play. But here's the thing. As I was gluing these wings onto this horse, I did manage to break a couple things. So the first thing that I managed to break was this little tiny piece right here. And this tiny piece here goes on the back of a staff weapon that this guy is supposed to be holding in his left hand. So this was supposed to be sticking out from the back. And then when I went to put the other wing on, I managed to break off this piece here. And this was supposed to go on the very front of the weapon, kind of like this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this, this part of the weapon was supposed to go right here on top. And this also broke off. Now, I was actually kind of surprised about this because when it was on him, it was fairly bendable. It was very bendable and I didn't do anything harsh. I was just trying to put the wing on and I guess I had a little bit too much pressure on the staff and it ended up causing it to completely snap. I'm going to try to get closer so that you guys can maybe see the bend. I am able to bend and then it snapped. When, he, when it was on him, it was really, really pliable, but it's not like that anymore. So hopefully that's not an indicator of what the drop test is gonna be like with this guy. But let's take a look at some of these other figures, especially the ones that have these longer staffs. And that's the reason why I printed these is because I wanted to test out like the bendability of it all. So we have this staff here. So you see I'm kind of bending this. Let me see if I can get it a little bit closer for you. So there's the staff. And I'm doing some pretty decent bends in one direction. You see that? So that's pretty good. And then here's the back, the back end of it. Squeezing it together. So pretty decent bend play, and it doesn't seem like it has much of a memory, so it just sort of stays bent like that until I kind of reshape it into another position. So I think that that kind of shows what the bend was sort of like with this original guy before it broke off. And then here is another longer weapon, but this one is attached to her foot. And I'm gonna show you some close-ups of all of these individual figures before I try to drop them and break them. As far as the actual printing process, I haven't had any big problems printing with this resin. I had a normal layer exposure time between two seconds and about 2.2 seconds. I switched it up from time to time. And then my bottom layers was about 30 to 35 seconds and popping it off the plate wasn't a problem at all. It did not shatter into a bunch of tiny brittle pieces like the last time I tried to use water washable resin. Everything came off nice and smooth as far as those first layers are concerned. And I didn't have any major print failures, um, kind of with the exception of this figure here, the bottom part of the shield did not print, but I won't contribute that to the resin. Sometimes things like that just happen. The smell wasn't too bad either. It's not the lowest smelling resin that I've ever come across, but it was far from the worst and I would just say it's decent it's fine 
For most of the things that I print, I use IPA to clean it. But with this water washable resin, I had a big container filled with water and I would dump these figures in there and then using a soft toothbrush, I would just give them a good brush down for about three minutes or so each, maybe a little bit more. And then I let them air dry. And that is different than what I usually do. I usually just heat them up next to a space heater so that I can dry them more quickly and then cure them. But IPA evaporates faster than and water so I didn't want to wait around for that so I let these guys dry really for overnight for many hours and then I cured them and um, I think taking that little extra care with brushing them with that toothbrush did a pretty good job because I'm not seeing too many shiny spots on them where that resin has settled in and eventually got cured so that's something that you have to take in mind when you do deal with water washable resin because when you use water you gotta take a little bit more care to make sure they get a little bit extra clean. So now the hard part is over, now it's time to do some drop tests. And we expect water washable resin to be quite brittle and for pieces to start flying off everywhere. But this is a tough water washable resin, so we're gonna see how well that holds up. Let's go do it. So after that many drop tests, what was broken on this guy is the sword that he was holding in addition to the top part of the shield. So let's try this guy out next and I suspect it's going to be a lot of the same. I expect the sword to break as well as these pointy bits on top of his armor. Three drops and nothing broke yet. Let's keep going. And we finally lost the sword on the fifth drop. Let's try for this smaller one. So for the smaller one, we lost an arm and we lost the shield. Let's do a final drop test for this guy right here. I think some pointy bits on his armor might have fallen off, but you can see the sword is still there and he looks pretty much the same. So to wrap this up, I'm gonna give him a forceful throw down on the ground and see what happens. I'm gonna use a little bit of mic for this one. Now when I actually try to break it with some force, I was a lot more successful. We lost an arm, we lost a leg, we lost the shield. The body is still intact though, but that's an extreme circumstance. All right, so let's wrap this up. Well, I gotta admit that went a lot better than I was expecting it to. When I touch these figures and I feel them, I was a little bit concerned that they really weren't going to hold up under a drop test because they don't feel like they're really robust. They still feel like they're kind of brittle. But as you just saw, after several drops on each figure, I mostly was able to just break off the longer, thinner accessory pieces and a portion of the shield. And at the very end, when I deliberately tried to just obliterate that one figure, it still took me at least a couple of really hard drops to start doing some significant damage but then again it was limbs and the figure itself as far as the whole structure of it was still in place so I was kind of surprised that it was able to hold up under that kind of scrutiny. I reviewed some other tough and ABS like resins in the past and based on this unscientific yet I still think realistic test I have to say that these figures that were made with the mecha tough resin held up pretty much just as well as the other ABS like resins or tough resins that I've used for other figures that weren't water washable. Just doing these simple drop tests which I think is indicative of what people's main concerns are when it comes to 3D printed miniatures using water washable resins is how is it going to hold up in a fall and just because some pieces broke off here and there I experienced the exact same thing with non-water washable ABS like resins and tough resins as well so they were kind of going tit for tat on that.
And as far as how good these figures look once they're printed, I really like using this guy as an example. This is a 75 millimeter miniature and I'll show you a nice close up of him right now. And I printed him at a two second um, layer exposure time and I think he came out looking really good. All of these ornate details on his armor, they really stand out nicely. And I haven't done anything to him other than wash him dry them and then just let them cure and i think he came out looking really really nice and i would like to use this resin for larger figures such as this as i think that um, it really helps those details to really come out and he looks quite good i do like it i didn't try the drop test with this guy with the horse with the wings because i had to glue these wings on and they will fall off in a drop but all in all i do have to say i'm pleasantly surprised with the nova 3d mecha tough water wash resin. I think that it helped to alleviate some concerns that I had about water wash washable resin as far as how brittle it can be. And in a real world situation, you are not going to be dropping your figure six times onto concrete from six feet in the air. Chances are you'll drop them maybe at waist level, maybe onto a carpeted floor, or even if you do hit the ground, you might break off some of the longer, stiffer pieces, but the figure itself by and large is going to be okay, like you just saw. So Good job, Nova 3D. I think you did a good job with this resin. So that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And I do have more resin reviews coming up in the near future. So if you want to see those, be sure to subscribe so that you can see how those resins turn out, as well as some other 3D printed related things and figures. So until then, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.